What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Magic Online. You guys, uh, you Magic Online sticklers. We got this for you. This this bud's for you. This Magic Bud is for you. We're just getting deeper and deeper here. And, um, yeah, so we're doing a little Magic Online. Quit that one. All right. Gross, I'm out. Wow. That's aggressive. John Medina, ladies and gentlemen. From uh from Untapped the Untapped Podcast fame. I don't know if you guys know you guys remember the Untapped Podcast back in the day. God, that was had to be like seven years ago, right? God, we were so young then. So innocent. So full of life. Now we're dead inside. Mono hot dog sandwiches. Kerwin, tell you what, you pick all the cards that are hot dog sandwiches in the pack and I'll draft those. Is MTGO the side chick or is it Arena? Uh, it's basically, it's a polyamorous relationship where there's a lot of good communication and love between everyone, but between all, between all parties. Come on, seven to eight. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mirror March. What the hell is this nonsense? Oh, it's a six mana red enchantment. I know what it is. I'm familiar. I think we're going to take either Grasping Thrall or Sphinx of New Prov. These cards are actually pretty close, I think. This costs one more, but it's easier to cast. This has one more power, but this deals you two. I think the mana restriction on here... Uh, it, it, on here is significantly higher than on here. However, that being said, there is a possibility that one or... Eh, I don't think any of these are coming back, actually. I think it is Thrill, actually. I think Thrill is great. It could be light at the stage, but I think Thrill is just a stronger card. I'm really hard-pressed to draw... To, to, play a, to pick a draw two spell over a really strong 3-3 three, three floaty boy. Uh, Spear I was actually leaning towards Aeromunculus, and then I saw the Spirit of the Spires, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's take that guy. Oh, wow, another Aeromunculus. Okay, well, I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing here. I like taking this Gateway Sneak, because it's very good. And maybe this Guild Gate comes back. Probably not, but maybe. Either way, both of these are pretty easy splashes, so... Don't care about Rally. Sky Teller is all right. Azorius Guildgate's probably where we want to be, though. Apparently, Magic Online takes the Guildgates pretty high. Pegasus is decent. Consign is decent. I'm going to take the Guildgate. Especially because it works so favorably with this guy. So, I'm okay with it. Don't care about Cinder Vines. Arrester's Admonition is very, very good. Another Consign to the Pit and another Azorius Guildgate. Um, this pack is actually very good. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind having any of these cards. Even the Exposed to Daily in the sideboard is pretty good. So if something comes back, it's pretty okay. Take Arrester's Admonition. Oh, another one. Okay, well. Summary Judgment? Yeah, Summary Judgment is pretty good.
Oh, an Orzhov Guildgate. Also an Imperious Oligarch. I'm just going to take the Guildgate here. I th I'm pretty sure we're leaning towards Esper pretty heavily here. I like having Exposed for the sideboard. I don't think any of these other cards are actually that great. Whereas Exposed is pretty much MVP in this format. Let's take Orzhov Guildgate. Vampire is good. Alright. This thing's shaping up okay. We should do a stip where you have to take the first or first and common or first. Yeah, stips and standard sets are pretty br pretty brutal. Like you just don't have enough cards to make good decks out of them. Yeah. Okay. Consign and uh, Pegasus came back. I'll take the consign. Another consign. Okay. I'll just take two consigns. I guess. I think this card's a little expensive for this format, but I think it's otherwise just fine. We could also just take the two blue cards out. Eh, this guy's fine. Not see us playing a watchful, uh, watchful giant here. Incubation Druid. That's a great card. I wonder if it's worth anything on Magic Online. Seventy-three cents. Less than that now. Sixty cents. Okay, I understand. Probably just gonna take Imperious Oligarch because it's a great two-drop. Final payment's fine, but we have a lot of removal already. Uh, with summary judgment, double consign, and these if we're playing the blue, which we don't really have a reason not to at this point. Also, Skatewing Spy is great, but I think it's better in the Simic decks than it is in the. Uh, Orzhov decks because it, it, it ends up being just a 2-3 for 4 that uh, wow alright that ends up uh, I'm going to think Swirling Torrent over the second Grasping Thrall I think because this card is pretty busted I don't love having a second 6 drop but this being an uncommon it's a very very strong card ooh Basilica Bell Haunt and an Orzhov Racketeers I'm going to take the Bell Haunt here I think it's also pretty good And we have two Orzhov Guildgates so far, so I think that's fine. None of these cards are that great. This could be like the double frilled mystic. We could have a really sick Simic deck so far. We'd have double Aramonculus, double frilled mystic. It's probably just impassioned orator. Um, I guess you have these are all these are both good with uh with Justiciar's portal. I think we just want creatures here. We only have eight creatures so far. I 
Here's an ill-gotten inheritance. You guys seem to love that. I would like to think this is Zorgia's Guild Gate. I think it's probably inheritance here. Eh, Twilight Panther's fine, I guess. I don't. This guy was fine when we played it. I don't think he's anything. I don't think he's anything fantastic. I think you guys likely agree with that. Um, I'll just take the Azorius Locket. I don't think we're going to be playing it, but... Monsonster with the 17 months. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Don't care about Night of Sorrows. Probably just taking up a four drop. Actually, Plague White's fine. That's a fine two drop. Zedrate, 10 months in a row. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. Uh, I'd rather have another vampire than a first giant. Oh, Racketeers came back? Cool. I'm okay with it. Pegasus is alright, too. I don't mind Pegasus. None of these are good. Eh, Portal's fine. I was thinking of taking a Portal earlier. Now we just have one, so... Oh, but devil. Oh, wow, we could have the, th the triple frilled mystic deck. No one ever expects the third frilled mystic, that's for sure. It's probably a second admonition, which is pretty good. This pack's pretty underwhelming. I don't want any double blue cards like Essence Capture. I don't want any double blue cards like Essence Capture. I'll just take the Azori skill to get, actually. I like a Swirling Torn. I think it's great, but I don't think I want a second one, and I really do want to make sure we have some fixing for the blue cards. I think if Grotesque Demise comes back, I think that's also fine. I'm splashing Bedevil there. Yeah, we could probably make it work. I mean, realistically, we could just get like two Rakdos Guild Gates. I mean, it's just a three mana consign to the pit, right? Like, you're rarely killing an artifact in this format, and you're rarely killing a Planeswalker. Wow, this is like a 13th Essence Capture? Wow, this pack is amazing. Chillbringer, Law, Law Mage's Binding, and Gate Colossus are all very, very good here, especially when I have four gates. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Chillbringer. Binding is great, though. Gosh. I think it's Chillbringer here. Hunter, stop! Binding is great, but there's very few things where I'd want to chill them, where I'd want to, like, where I'd want Law Mage's Binding over just 3-3. Three, three. Uh, Summary Judgment's nice. Quench I don't care about. Probably just summary judgment. This pack's not really that exciting. Why 
What do you think about those impact for remover trophy bit of or mortify? Um, it just depends on the deck, really. I don't think I think they're all going to go in their decks if they have respective decks for for them. I don't think they're. Uh, I'll just take judgment. I think judgment's good. Yeah, this is a. Yeah, it's probably the spirit. It's just a three, three for three. I like Night Arbor. I don't like five drops though. I think it's just Forbidding Spirit. I think this guy's fine. Sphinx of a new prop. And another Grasping Thrill. Wow, these are late. It's gotta be Grasping Thrill number two. I'm not gonna, we're, we're not casting double blue card, unfortunately, but I think Grasping Thrill is just a great pick up there. So is this Orzhov Guildgate number three. There's a Grotesque Demise. I don't really care about that though. We can cut this guy. And I think we're actually looking pretty good here. Pitiless Pontiff and another Guild Gate. Uh, this is actually probably just better than like Plague Right by a sizable margin. Mm, take Essence Capture, sure, why not? All right, so we're probably gonna cut one of these two drops, probably Plague White. Actually, Impassioned Orator is probably worse. Ah, uh, Bring a Trial is nice. I'm okay with having a Bring a Trial on the sideboard. This deck actually looks pretty sweet. Uh, five Gates, if that Gate Colossus came back, I would have literally flipped my shit. Blade Juggler is okay. Actually, I like Blade, Blade Juggler more than something in here, I bet. Probably more than Carrion Imp. Sometimes you just want an 06, I guess. Ah, uh, Rester's Zeal is fine. Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the deck. Let me just add these guys in here. Uh, I think we can go... So we have, what, one, two? Actually, yeah, we probably do want, like... We can probably go four or five, so this is seven, this is six sources of blue. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have what? Ten sources of white and seven sources of black. Now we're gonna go eight, nine. So this is five, six, seven, eight. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine, six. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, now we have more too many lands. Okay, we'll take one white out. Now it's a nine, nine, six. Yeah, 996 should be more than adequate. Unfortunately, all of these islands make Basilica Bell Haunt pretty awkward. Yeah, the Thrill Art's real creepy. I'm going to take one of these out. I'm going to add the planes back. I think five should be fine for for the blue sources. Thank you. A. Brown, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Burbler, welcome back. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll deal with it. We have two playable cards. All right, now I get, gotta get used to Magic Online controls again. Okay. One more white and we almost have perfect mana. We can cast any blue card. We can cast double black, double white cards if we get that. No play next turn. If we draw another white, though, we can go Forboding Spirit into Ill-Gotten Gains. And then we're doing very well. Okay. White. 
Not a white. All right. Well, as long as we're hitting land drops, I'm okay with it. This is a lot of oligarchs, and we have a 1-3 here. I'm pretty okay with it. Unfortunately, they are not. if they have a way to get rid of this 1-3, we are in bad shape because we missed land drop. Been watching on YouTube for a while and finally remember to have a prime. Figure I'd use my free... So really appreciate it. Thank you so much, buddy. So I guess we're just, we're just playing summary judgments on vampires. Actually, this is fine because I just want to find a land drop here. Well, we did not. Okay. That's... <laughs> Oh, welcome back to Magic Online. Some things never change. I guess we'll just keep playing our things. Could have played Oligarch there, but this is better mana uses. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be relevant. Well, now they're on four lands, so get wrecked. Get wrecked. Thank you. Spaghetti Tudger, 11 months in a row. No, I see. Well. I'm actually going to discard the Spirit. Um, I think it's probably one of our... Especially when they just drop a 3-4. I think we're actually taking three here. Because this blocks this pretty well. We could also kill it if we draw another white source. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. So we're probably going to take three from the Bell Haunt and then play uh, Summary Judgment on our turn. This is ridiculous. Spider Update. It has not moved in a while. <laughs> Were you, were you smoking in your bathroom? Well, that's very good against our board currently. Yes, this is quite awkward. So it is turn eight. We've missed five land drops. <laughs> like you do. Yep, that's pretty good. Wow, that's really good. This is aggressive. Okay, so block you, block you, block you. This is actually fine. Like, we get one token, they get four, but we have Concordia Pegasus. I guess that's fine. Seems fitting. What does this block? Nothing really? Or as the vampire can block here, block here, block here. Yeah, that's better. Sure. And they're at 31. <laughs> Seems good. If you miss 10 land drops, I'll donate $20. Well, that's a lot. I think we'd have to miss five more. We'd probably be dead before we missed five more land drops, to be quite honest. Ancient Snorks, have a good night, buddy. Appreciate you hanging out.
Oh, I guess they deal two points. That sucks. Yep, forgot about that because of the Tesa. And you have a pump spell anyway. Oh, all right. That's I was gonna die anyway. I'm sure. Yep. Yeah, this is going pretty well actually. I think we're actually way ahead right now. No, behind is what I meant. I said ahead, but I think I meant behind. I got it's they're they're confusing. Wow, two foot like fiends. Yep. All right. No. Well, well, I missed six land drops, but you know, sometimes sometimes your name is Skill Bill, and you uh <laughs> you end up beating your opponent that has uh that misses infinite land drops. Oh, uh, this hand is a keeper. This is a. Hey, we have three lands this time. I guess that's a better start. Still, still short of a second white, but I have faith. Not a lot of faith, but it's a it's a marginal amount of faith. Okay, so still nothing, huh? This is just going to be an easy trade for them. Really? Because if you take two, and then you attack, and then I block, then you took two, and you got nothing in there. I mean, unless you're just killing the... There you go. It's all coming together. Hey, we did it. Well, now I think we've, now I think we've got a game here. Triple five drop in hand, and we get to start start dropping them like bombs next turn. Fascinating. My kingdom for a cry of the Carnarium. This is where they play Tesa, and then we're like, well, I guess we'll block, but not feel good about it. Wow, the X1s are real here. I mean, we have six power in the air and they're at 13, so that's pretty good, but... There's a lot of Biscopa vampires. That's not bad. I almost rather have Racketeers here, but 2 4 blocks the vampires pretty well. This gotta be an alpha. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> we just take nine instantly. Yeah, this is fine. They have one card, so we can we can stabilize here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they have to deal with these guys in one turn or they're dead on board. Two cards, two cards. Who 
Whew. Do you have anything that's like good against O oh, one one through X ones? <laughs> like Alright, so Blade Juggler comes here. If this is like a two four or a one a one four, I'd actually probably like it a lot better <laughs> at this point. I don't know. I think everything seems good here. We have sixteen creatures. I'm tempted to play the or the orator just to gain some life. I don't think it's great though. I mean, you can make the same argument for thirsting shade, really. two blue but one yeah you know what it's fine but one white and one black so we're gonna draw the bell haunter right off the top you ready it's better than better 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 than bell haunt portal good here might be uh i don't know why though okay i'm gonna play lands as if we want to draw bell haunt and we're gonna draw like swamp or plains and bell haunt that's that's how we're drawing it up Okay. This guy's getting exiled. Yeah. That's a strong card. No attacks and no plays. That's interesting. Hey, we got the bell haunt, guys. Fascinating. Okay, sure. I'll take it. They could have just taken two, replayed Tesa, and then, like... Uh, sure. Yep, that card's busted. Boy, talk about an uphill battle here. Five, six. We have six mana. We can play this and keep up judgment. No, we can't. I just want to start getting a clock on the board. Because we have a lot of tempo buying cards. We have Swirling Torrent. We have Summary Judgment. <coughs> yep, and they're just going to draw a million cards here. Because they get to play this and Tesa. They get to draw two. It's pretty... Bu this card's ridiculous. I see. We 
We have a lot of life gain here, though. One, two, three. We can play Spirit. We can also play Biscopa Vampire here. I guess f Double Footlight Fiend makes more sense when you have Tesa and Tome of the Guild Pact. Oh, uh, what do I think is one of an Esmeralda Killer? Like, um, five mana is really cost prohibitive. I think that's one of the biggest... Uh, no, that's not going to work the way you think it works. That's that's the one you're attacking with? Sure. Hmm. So we could go s one, two. Nope, we need a white source, not a black source. One, two, three, four, five, six. We go torrent, put these back on top. Then this guy never gets through. Yeah, but the thing about Chromium or Nezahal is actually, actually it has nothing to do with what's better. It has to do with having fun. And Captive Audience is super fun. And it was also very strong. Just start creature put on top. You. Your hand, you. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think we're. I just don't think we're winning this game when they have a, a Tesa on um, and, and a Tome of the Guild Pack. Like we just don't have. They have inevitab inevitability that we just can't deal with. I mean, if they ever tap their Tesa, I'm okay with it. They're probably just going to exile this like a grotesque demise, I'm sure. That dude. Yep. That's pretty good. I mean, it's possible they just don't have that many multicolor cards left. <laughs> and that's a good one. Now they're gonna play another Imperious Oligarch, and it's just like, just literally churn through your entire deck. They've drawn five more cards than us this game.
That's three cards. All right, well. This could do something for us. Take your taste of twice. Good point. Let's cast you with Spectacle. Nine lands. Yikes. It's never a good time when you have the same amount of lands as your opponent and they've drawn six more cards than you. Is it possible to just win with flyers? I don't even understand what's going on right now, but. Mortify. Yep. <laughs> Ugh, exhausting. Like, thankfully, all these cards aren't doing anything now. They're just drawing you more cards. Yep. It's okay. They've only drawn eight more cards than us. It's only it's only eight cards. <laughs> oh, my God. How is this real? They could also just go sack, 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 now that they have that guy out and just really demolish us. Their deck is pretty unbelievable. Like, it is pretty unlikely that we're ever beating this deck. Sure. We're just gonna I'm just gonna scoop. We can't beat this. Like they can make two guys, make two guys, deal two damage, deal two damage. Like there's no cards in our deck that are really gonna. Our deck is I think our deck is good. But their deck is way better. Like three Imperious Oligarch is already a ton to have. Plus they have Pitiless Pontiff, they have the Tome, they have Tesa, they have Grasping Thrills, like they have the just like perfect black white configuration Let's play first. You know what? I'll keep this hand. If we can hit like three lands, I think we're great. In the next five turns. Seems reasonable. Well, turn two, three, four, five. We did it. What did we do? Well, now we have lots of plays, so. That's actually a fine trade. And next turn we got this guy and this guy. So if we hit one land in the next two turns, it's pretty good.
I think we're just gonna be this is just gonna be trade-off city yeah that's fine Well, we missed a land drop here. Instead, we hit a six drop. All right, seems good. And here we go. This is this is how we uh, this is how we hit our descent here. Orzhov Gildiate. So they got four colors right now. That's a thing, all right. Cool. <laughs> Is this real life? Like, are we really playing magic here? I can't even, I don't actually know what's happening right now. Lose round one to Tome, followed by Tesa. Lose round two to Ethereal Admonition. Nice format. And no plays. Okay, so we're basically heading on over to the 1-2 bracket. Or the 0-2 bracket. With no guarantee of a, a sweet 1-2. Nine black sources. Yep. Wow. Oh, God. You were just dead, right? Like. Did they just have six their whole turn? Okay. We're not dead, but we're not alive either, so.
Oh, God. Yeah, this is the end. Yeah, we can't do anything here. There's nothing There's nothing we're going to ever be able to do in this game that actually brings us back. So, unfortunately, that's the end. That was the shortest draft we've done in quite a while. And uh, our deck didn't seem terrible. I actually thought it was pretty decent. We had a solid removal in the format. Uh, even our Rester's Admonition is very, very good for tempo. Uh, we have some solid creatures. All of these guys are good. Uh, these guys are all fine as well. Like, I mean, yeah, I, I think the deck is good. Uh, we just couldn't couldn't beat black white bombs in round one or two. And I think I think if we if we didn't have to face if we didn't have to face ethereal admonition in game in match two, I think we just do great. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Send us like and subscribe button. Sorry about the uh, the short Magic Online draft there, but sometimes it's just not meant to be. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.